Hello, good evening. I'm Shell of Chris and Shell, and we live on a narrow boat called Obstruct Bell. Um, I hope you're all keeping well. Um, as it's approaching Father's Day, uh, we're celebrating Father's Day weekend, and I'm going to make Chris a mushroom risotto. If you are like me and um, struggle with the uh, portion sizes of rice, uh, this is a really good recipe if you overcook rice and you've got some leftovers that you need to use up or it's a really good cheap risotto that takes not very much time at all it's dead easy and it's mega tasty please excuse me if i am a bit um muffled i am really suffering with my hay fever today um so yeah if anybody's got any really wonderful remedies for it then please shout up because i'm currently on beacon A's, claritin and eye drops <laughs> none of it's helping <coughs> yeah. so excuse the sniffs so um at the point of beginning of lockdown uh because you couldn't buy rice or pasta chris bought this mega big five kilogram bag of rice from amazon which we'll put a link in below and it's been awesome it's really good quality stuff um, and it takes a bit of battering so it doesn't go all mushy when you, you cook with it so we've been using it for veggie paellas and stuff and it really holds its shape so yeah you need rice main ingredient offs uh, cooking oil onions garlic stock salt pepper um, parsley if you haven't got parsley thyme is a good substitute and um, mushrooms so I use just normal buttons or chestnuts as my sort of base mushroom but I have become madly in love with oyster mushrooms um, so I don't give these much cooking I'll just fry them off lightly outside of the um, risotto and then I use them as little sprinklers very nice Finely chop uh, two medium onions and four cloves of garlic. One cup of rice. So I'm going to pre cook, pre -cook the rice, and um, there's water in there, and I'm going to add a stock cube. Uh, we have to admit that these aren't forage, sorry, because we haven't found any yet. So these are Morrison's or whoopsies. So I'm going to chop these up into uh, cubes but I like to take that little stalk out and have that separate end of them bit. So my lovely little oysters are done so I'll sprinkle them on the top later. They're gorgeous. Nice oyster because they've got um although we're vegan obviously they've got a nice sort of meaty chickeny texture it's lovely so i'm gonna add onion and garlic splash of oil fry off so medium-ish heat until the onions go translucent I put a couple of tablespoons of thyme in, but if you don't like it that strong, you just obviously put a bit less in. What well, is um, midsummer? Summer solstice. Yeah. Does it suit me? Yeah. We'd just like to wish you a very happy summer solstice, and uh, I hope the next half of the year is better for everybody so there is a lot more mushrooms here today than on the recipe uh, but they were whoopsies and we need to use them up so won't do us any harm we'll probably just have mushroom risotto for lunch tomorrow as well
like you to add a bit more water when you get the rice in, just so your, your mix is and your level is. Obviously we've added a bit more ingredients. Just see how it goes. Add rice. You don't have to add another stock cube, it's up to you how much stock you like, but we have two in this one. Salt and pepper. So give that a stir and decide whether you want to add a bit more water. We're going to simmer this now for 15 minutes on a low heat. Let everything bind together, cook the peas. Yep, yeah. and let the liquid reduce down. Um, you could make this a bit more decadent, and if you're not vegan, um, you could add a bit of Parmesan cheese, or you could add a bit of white wine if you fancy putting a bit of a tickle in there too. Now, I always tend to leave a little bit of liquid in just so that it's nice and moist. I've got a little bit of a sauce, but yeah, that is, uh, yeah, done, I'd say. So, I've just got my posh oyster mushrooms back on the fryer, just heating them up quickly for. 30 seconds minute and uh, we're gonna let this sit for five um, and then dish up and put it all together delicious as an extra treat for Christopher for Father's Day and for our fathers we're gonna take a couple when we go to see him um, made some cakes um, these are raspberry muffins with a vanilla frosting with some whoopsie raspberries. Thanks for making these, boo. <laughs> Cody's waiting. These are for daddy. Are you alright? Bloody beautiful. Happy Father's Day, everybody. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed our vlog this week. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and join our lovely community. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do so. We always like to hear your feedback and have a chat with you all. Um, yes, and let us also know if, um, please let us know also what you do to celebrate Father's Day and summer solstice. Um, I hope you all have a lovely time. And uh, yes, please take care, behave yourselves, and we'll see you again next week. Tatty bye. Delivery.